<laughs> did everybody, you got that memo then today? No. We didn't, yeah. No, no, no. no. I went shopping yesterday. <laughs> Sure, Tanya Hart, American Urban Radio Networks, and online. Anytime. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. What a wonderful job. I know you guys have done a lot of TV, but to do a movie like this about such an important story and a yeah. really unbelievable man, yeah. and now we see about the other part of that story. What was it like bringing your skills to something like this? Uh, it was intimidating, <laughs> you know? I mean, Everything. again, and there's just so many aspects of it. And, this is an important correlation that I kind of discovered almost halfway through the process or midway through the process is I was trying to honor him, not trying to live up to him, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. You know, so from a skills yes. perspective, you know, it it's a very subtle thing, but there's a big sub, there's a lot of subtext in this film actually about how we look at things, how we approach things from an, in a from mental, emotional, mm -hmm. physical place. So that was important for me to kind of go, oh, shoot. Well, we covered the last story um, and I love the fact that they actually picked it up and, you know, because yeah. that was like, well, okay, so what happens after this? And yeah. so much happened. So much happened. And Merritt, you really brought the whole idea of his family and his wife, you know? Thank you. Tell me about that and, and what that was like for you. Yeah, it was an incredible opportunity for me. And to get to learn about Cynthia, I, I didn't know a lot about her previous to this film. Uh, she's mentioned only a little bit in the book and obviously not featured in the first film. So. It was a really exciting opportunity for me to bring this person to life and to learn about who she was. And she was such a strong woman and so courageous. And she just had all these incredible aspects of her character. So to get to play someone like that was was really special. Mm -hmm. How intimidating is it because you're actually working with his son as well, <laughs> Mr. Samarini's son? I mean, yeah. you know, so you've got a family member there. Yeah. You've got, okay, yeah. uh, what was that like? Uh, Fantastic. It, actually, they were it was super great. supportive. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And to have somebody there with real life experience of the person that you're playing is so beneficial. You know, yeah. in today's world that we live in, and we were talking about the music uh, earlier, but mm. there, there's just so much stress and, and, and so much, you know, dis discordance just everywhere in the world today, yeah. and especially here in this country. So we have a story like this. Why is it important? for this story to be seen right now? Well, there's a whole muck cloud. That's an <laughs> expression that's ever been used. That's a new one, yeah. I haven't heard that yeah. one. <laughs> that's my but expression, we'll, don't you we'll use we'll it. Happy yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's just, there's a lot of forgiveness that can and probably should happen right now in in, in our political climate and um, intercult like interracially, interculturally, um, just across the board, there's just, it's such an important step in this process because no matter how much you talk things out or how much you understand what the other person is going through or how much you try to show some type of, you know, you try and some type of like paying people back or trying to, it's without the actual emotional, like true forgiveness, mm -hmm. then you're just going to repeat everything all over again. You know, not even a generation later, just like a week later. Yeah, I think you know? the film's so relatable, even though it yeah. takes place in the 1940s. There's a lot of things they go through in their marriage or with alcoholism or PTSD, yeah. that's still very relatable today. And yeah. for them to get through it and to walk away with hope and forgiveness, I think that's something people need to see right now and and yeah. hopefully feel. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's the whole idea of a faith-based film, which I don't necessarily say that this is that per se, but yeah. but again, it's important for younger people, I think, you know, millennials and everybody yeah. to see this, even younger kids. So what would you say to the audience to really get them into the theater? If you had your chance to say, okay, this is why you really have to come see this film. Um, I, if you come see this movie, I will find you on Instagram and say, <laughs> hey, thank you so much for seeing the movie. I think that's what kids like to do, right? Like, they're really important in the youth world right now. Cool. I think there's so many aspects to the film that are intriguing. Like, for yeah. me, obviously the story and the yes, relationships course, are great, but I think yeah. also the set design and the yeah. wardrobe yeah. and all of that is yeah. so incredible and it's just fun to watch and it's beautiful yeah. to watch. And, and I'm in an elevator that like feels Yeah, and there's special stop, effects. It's, like, it's fun, it's cool. fun. There's a little bit for everybody. And the cars. Yes, the cars, cars are so that cool. are like, gosh, the cars are yeah. cool. Thank you guys. Thank you. Continued Thank you so success. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much.